Hi, this is a video where we will try and look at uh, what happens with the solver function and how can we use solver to kind of form a problem. What's given here is a table with a certain number of stocks, their expected returns over the next let's say a year and their respective betas. And the objective here is to try and find out a certain kind of recommended stock weightage uh, where the client objective would be to get the maximum return from this portfolio of stocks such that the portfolio beta should not be beyond 1.15 on the higher side or 0.85 on the lower side. So that's the broad objective which is uh, which is going to come in and based on these constraints I have to try and create a portfolio on the table in the right side. So what we do here is if you look at the right side table you'll see essentially the number of stocks listed. The total weight of all the stocks which is the sum of the weight of all the all the individual stocks should reach to 100%. The expected return from the portfolio is nothing but some product of the expected return of each stock and their weight. The beta is nothing but the sum product of betas of the stock and their respected weights, respective weights. So uh, essentially what we'll use is one we can try a brute force approach. The second is we can try something called a solver. So we'll click on data, click on solver and the solver window opens up. Now solver basically solves a certain kind of equation by trial and error method given a certain objective by changing a certain kind of cells and then going ahead and putting a few constraints. So what do we have to solve for? We have to set objective as the cell. We go ahead and look at the changing cells, the target cells which will change and put the solver parameters by changing the variable cells there. And then we start looking at what constraints come in. So individual constraints will get added now. So we can click on add constraint, uh, cell reference. So we click that the total weight of the portfolio should be exactly equal to 100%. Nothing more, nothing less. It has to add up to 100%. So that's the first condition that's already added there. So we'll remove the second one there. The beta similarly, we'll have to add another constraint on beta on both the upside and downside. So I add a constraint saying that the beta or portfolio beta cell should be less than or equal to 1.15. Similarly, there's a third constraint which will say that the portfolio beta has to be greater than 0.85. So I've added all the three and I click on solve. The moment I click on solve, I get a set of results and a, a, a table which says should I keep the solver results or should I not keep the solver results. So I'll keep the solver results. What it says is 46% in Hindalco and 54% in ITC would give me the maximum return of this portfolio keeping the beta between 0.85 and 1.15. So that's 14% and the beta is 1.15, total weight is 100%. We can try and change some of these parameters to see if ITC is 46 and Hindalco is 54. You'll see while the portfolio return goes up to 15%, the beta does not fit into the constraint now. Beta actually goes out beyond 1.15 and hence for all the solutions that we have the weight of all the other stocks has to be zero and the highest return would be possible only in the case that Hindalco is 46 percent and ITC is 54 percent. So that's where the result is and that's what our solver result would be.